Titanium. And we're gonna do Ferg. All right. All right. Sure. Sure, chat. We're going to play some. Oh, it's uh, there's actually a an alternate format too. Okay, we might we're gonna try one set in Ultra League. I thought it was Little Cup this week. We're gonna have to look at Sunshine Cup too. But um, let's start with Ultra League. I am gonna run these three Gen Two starters. If we get on a tear with it, we're gonna run it for the whole set. We might copycat though. We might copycat though. We're just gonna kind of see how it plays out. But let's see how these games go. Let's see if we can get uh, on a better track than we've been the last couple times we played GBL. It's been a while. I'm pretty darn rusty to say the least, but this, this should be fun, right? This should be fun, right? Let's see how it goes. Uh, Typhlosion and a Clefable. That is a good lead for us. Clefable's also not a Pokemon I'm terribly worried about. Oh, it's the Moltres. Okay. Well, I think we stay. Boy's a little thicker than maybe I uh, anticipated. It uh, happily tanked a... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, ancient power. It happily tanked a Thunder Punch, so... I think we're probably just gonna hold off here and uh yeah they're gonna shield that yeah i think we go ahead and just say like yeah you're gonna get your shields but we're gonna come out of this with energy and i should be able to get a shield back and we'll have switch advantage for the uh remaining pokemon yeah see we got a lot of good there all right perfect i mean Obviously, we're going to be real happy that we have switch advantage now. <laughs> oh, they snuck it in. So they don't get to farm us, but we have a Meganium to handle this. And between these Pokemon, I feel pretty confident that we can... Uh, find a way to win this game I think we probably could have played the pivot there a little bit better I probably could have timed my moves a little better um, but I think I feel pretty good about where we're positioned here they'll likely burn a shield on the uh, Clefable here just to uh, ensure that they can put some damage on Meganium but I just don't think they're going to be able to uh, kill them. Okay, no, they're not even going to do that. I guess they could have Sludge Wave, right? Nah, they're going to concede. Okay, GG's. <laughs> I was expecting them. So if you shield, you Moonblast me again. Meganium has to come in and kill you. And then maybe there's a chance you, you figure it out. But it looked to me like that was just, that was just not going to happen. They pivoted to the soft counter on Typhlosion, couldn't quite get it done, and then I had a really nice backline answer that they couldn't overcome with that shield advantage, so. Let's see what game two has. Typhlosion and Geratina. This is pretty bad for us. Um, none of our Pokemon, aside from Ferg, are terribly good into Geratina. Um, I wish that we had... I wish we were on the gator right now. Oh, and they're on ancient power. That's kind of nasty. That's kind of nasty. I think what we're basically looking to do here is if I can land two blast burns, uh, we're, we're going to put some real damage on this thing. Um, and while it's not optimal by any stretch of the imagination, oh, maybe we can survive a dragon claw and get a second blast burn off. It would be very tight here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy, I went to the wrong Pokemon. Okay, we lose. Uh, I was hoping we would survive that. We did not survive that. Um, and now we're switch locked here. Uh, our opponent just staying here is pretty much our best case scenario um, because it's pretty much the only scenario where we, uh, where we don't have to put the Meganium back on this thing. But this is interesting. They haven't 
switched yet. We'll kill that. Yeah, that's that's not good. So I assume their other Pokemon probably handles Meganium okay. I think we're still gonna pivot if the opportunity presents itself and just find out for ourselves. Oh, they shielded. Yeah, I'm best betting their other Pokemon is pretty good into Meganium. I have a I have a feeling. We're still gonna go because I think the game's gonna come down to this anyway. Yeah, that one's pretty bad for us. That one's pretty bad for us. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's fire spin on the Charizard, but it doesn't change the fact that from an RPS standpoint, we're still in deep shit, right? We're still in deep shit. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try and farm me. That's the that's the game plan here, which they're gonna succeed. They're gonna succeed, unfortunately. Um, and that's gonna put us in a hole that we can't overcome, so. Uh, no, I'm not shielding this. I mean, at this point, our, our, our outs are all very narrow. Our outs are all extremely narrow. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not shielding. I'm just going to let them have this one. Uh, I think that we had a real chance of winning this game, but we're just in the wrong order. We're just in the wrong order. And if maybe I had just immediately safe swapped to... Uh, if I had safe swapped to the Ferg, it's possible we win that game because they don't have an answer. But we still would have had to kill the Giratina, which would have been super difficult. So, All right, we're going to stick with it because I kind of like it. And I think I like it thematically more than I care about whether or not it's good. Another Clefable lead. Clefable leads are good for us, right? We like Clefable leads. We're gonna go. We're gonna go here, because this is a pretty, pretty good uh, spot for us to be. I guess brutal. Like I. I mean, they could have Focus Blast, but I'm not really playing around that. <laughs> maybe I should have maybe I should have played around focus blast but fine they have focus blast doesn't matter the end result is still fine right and we have lots of energy and of course there's another fire flyer <laughs> Uh, we'll Earthquake the Talon Flame. Unfortunately, them getting two moves there is kind of butts, but I think we just... So that's three. A Brave Bird would be unfortunate. This is a player that has already shown me... Oh, they're on Fly. Okay. That they have some nukes. Are they on Fly and Brave Bird, though? <laughs> that would certainly be a choice. I don't need to shield just a random Fly. I'm okay with that. Right. Okay. Sorry if my uh, my cable is a little, yeah, a little funky, so it's going to cut in and out here on occasion. Uh, Moonblast is not uh, a move I'm too worried about. Oh, boy, that's not good. Okay. I'm going to blast burn them now. Sorry that this is uh, totally shit in the bed. Uh, we're going to have to fix this in a second. Oh, they just barely survived that, but it actually worked out kind of nice for us. We ended up getting ourselves a... Uh, an extra an extra incinerate there this is a, this has a, been a great finish for us but unfortunately the game has decided to not let me cast it and I don't know why we're gonna let the uh, Typhlosion go here ooh okay well they tried to uh, they tried to farm me there 
They tried to undercharge a fly and then farm me, but I already had Hydra Cannons loaded. So it ended up being a pretty good end game for us. We played it really nicely. Um, everything kind of worked out for us, but uh, of course my connection fell apart and you didn't get to watch any of it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but either way, a dub is a dub. It'd be nice if our Meganium could find something other than a Fire Flyer, but hey. Well, I showed you the end, amigo. I showed you the end. All right, Gray Cole. Good luck, friend. What do you got for us? We got Typhlosion led into a Lick Licky. Okay. This is not a sexy matchup as we're going to take kind of a lot of damage from rollout here, which I don't love. I don't love taking all this damage from rollout. Body Slam and Shadow Ball usually the move set here although they could have they could have earthquake i think we probably are just no shielding yeah even a shadow ball it's non-stab so like this will be a body slam the question here is uh i think i do want to uh attempt to uh yeah, see, that worked out okay. And then what's coming in? Oh, that's not good. I mean, the upside is... Or the only upside for us is that uh, we do get to put our actual counter on this thing. Oh, it's on Dragon Breath. Ugh. We're down a shield and it's on Dragon Breath. That's not, that's not the world we want to live in. But hopefully I can find a way to... Uh, one, find a way to uh, kill this thing. And then two, hope that our Meganium is good in the back. Because right now, I'm not overly confident in our standing here. But I think we have to at least try and force shields. And then maybe we can put ourselves in a position where... Um, the Meganium can close this thing out and then hope that their back Pokemon is like a Mud Boy or a Water type. Because we're jamming the switch after if they shield this, right? We're just jamming switch. It's not. It's a Clefable. I don't actually genuinely know how this matchup plays out. I have no idea. <laughs> so two Frenzy Plants will do it. I assume two Moon Blasts will do it. So they're going ham. Do we shield the first thing? Yeah, we do. Oh, no. That's not what we wanted to see. All right, so they did get their bait. So now we need two Frenzy Plants before they get two Moon Blasts. We also, remember, do still have the, uh, the other Pokemon alive. So in theory, as long as we get them within fast move down range, which I believe we have, uh, we would win anyway. But lucky for us, Frenzy Plant remains cracked. Meganium a bit thick. We'll take our win. And we'll have a winning set, which isn't something I've been able to say in several weeks. Some of that's because we haven't been playing, but hey, the uh, the triple Gen 2 starter team is officially a winning team. Huzzah, friends. Let's go. We've seen a Clefable on almost every team so far, too, which is interesting. Uh, Venusaur lead, you say? Yeah, Venusaur is real good against our backline, so I'm uh, quite glad that we're not going to be dealing with that. Okay. Let's see how much damage Brutal Swing does. Brutal Swing does not very much. You know, I'm going to go big. I'm going to go big. I can't imagine they're planning to shield this, right? Right? Oh my god, they are. 
Okay, well, that's not good. I guess given the uh, the nature of the lead, I probably should not have earthquaked, right? That they would probably look for that. Um, I still think we're okay. I think we'll double frenzy plant before they kill us. I don't think I have to worry too much, but it does feel pretty bad to get the uh, earthquake shielded. I kind of wanted, I just wanted to land it. I just wanted to land it. Okay, they're gonna let it. They're gonna let it go. I guess they're gonna try and farm me here. I mean, it's gonna work, right? Oh, okay. No, they didn't farm me. All right, that's that's perfect. I think they probably should have farmed me. I think their only real chance is farm me, eat the damage, and then like double, uh, double uh, sludge bomb, but. Okay. This is fine. I mean, obviously I'm not happy about this. This thing is pretty is pretty strong. Um, however, we do have a thunder punch ready to go. And they're going to have a hard time putting us in range here that we have to use our shield. And they may have to shield themselves because they're just so much squishier than us. Like, they should. They resist every one of my moves, yet the end result of this is still a win in, in the no shield for us, right? They can night slash me. Oh, there's the other night slash. Oh. I, I still think we're not shielding this. Oh, they got the, uh, they did get the boost there. They're going to, I mean, they'll definitely shield this. So the question is, do they try and catch? A catch would be really good for them, right? Yep, there's the attempted catch. Ooh, I have to shield this, don't I? So we might lose this just on the merits of... them having a charge move and winning cmp we might i think that we could have done that better we needed to keep the shield <sighs> we needed the shield i and i kind of knew we did i i should have played that a little cleaner that one feels bad that one feels like we just kind of let it get away from us at the end we probably should have just straight up blast burned the venusaur the second it came in um and then we would have had a shield to ride although it still would have been a little tight so i think we just needed to time our moves a little better there but either way a win is a win uh given that we're pretty rusty i think it feels pretty good to come out of that set with uh with a couple wins so ggs